okay everyone welcome back to the channel again today we're back on gt sport and we're back with the daily race um we're not in an fai race for sunday um i didn't decide to do, do it as i didn't have time to practice much so what i did do in the morning was on sunday i jumped on for 10 minutes learned this track for the first ever time i've never been on the blue um blue moon bay infield circuit so I learned the track quickly, I only got down to 107, then we jumped on very late at night after we had finished in editing the um, final race. And I quickly got, uh, just before this race started, I managed to get the lap down to a 106.8. Um, wasn't particularly confident in the consistency on this track, so we've got two races coming up now. This is the first race, both very entertaining races. You can see there, starting from P5, um, trying to work our way um, into a better position. So you can see, start straight away. We're having a little look to see if we can make a move anywhere, but we're just going to stick behind this guy at the moment. I'm not going to force a move down this really fast left-hand corner. Um, this is the first time I've ever raced on this track, and we're driving for the first time we've ever raced the um, RS01, the Renault. We have driven it in a, in a um, circuit experience, and we tried it out at Suzuka as well. Um, it is a nice car, and particularly nice on this track. I really enjoyed it. You can see there, we decided to have a little look <coughs> up the inside line on that... Um, I think it's a Porsche 911 RSR there, but we couldn't make that move. Then we go a little bit wide there because I was a bit compromised because I couldn't turn in because that, the um, RSR was there. And now we've got another car on our inside. I just about give him space, but get the move um, to turn in on that corner and fractionally scrape that wall. Um, I think we actually grazed it ever so slightly. And now we've got that Renault RSO one right in our um, gearbox. Um, he's actually down the right hand side now. He looks like he's going to make a move, but he's out slips him and he's not able to actually accelerate past us. Um, I think he might have been changing gear a little bit late. Um, I found that changing gear at pretty much the end of the rev range was best with this car. So we take a nice tight line into this corner. But however, he does a very, very clever move. Goes on the inside. I lose a bit of traction and lose the acceleration. He's now got the inside line for this really fast left-hand corner. So I have to give him space. I back out of it slightly, going down to third gear where I normally wouldn't, and give him that um, corner. He's, he's made that move. I didn't want to fight that and um, cause an incident. So I give him the space that's needed. And he's worked his way up to the um, P4 and we're into P5. So have a we'll have a little look now at exactly what happened there. You can see he's on the outside. He holds back very cleverly. He gives himself a wider entry point. You can see him already making that on the car. We get a little bit of a loose rear end going over that bump and lose a bit of acceleration. And as a result, he can see um, the, the right line into that corner. We obviously have to back out of that and give him that place. We would have been really wrong to try and fight that. So... At this point now, I'm just trying to build some consistency up here, and I'm not driving particularly great. This is obviously my first ever race on this track, and we've done about probably about 15, 20 minutes of um, learning the track in the morning, and then we jumped on and did. I think we had five minutes left before the race started. We managed to improve our lap straight away, as you can see there. <clears throat> not a particularly great middle sector because we obviously had to give up that position, and um, now just trying to stay in the slipstream and look for any opportunity. That arises you know this is still quite close between um, from the top five it looks like the leader's got himself a nice bit of clear air um, behind him so he's just concentrating on the track whereas the second third fourth fifth and ourselves are fairly close so we've got to be looking in our mirrors and considering where we can make a move and stuff so you can see we get very close to all the cars up head through this corner we actually scrape the wall again on that exit there as we take the line a bit wide going into this really fast left hand corner i have to say i really enjoy this track um, it's, it's really enjoyable the flow of it um, i know it's only a very short track as you can see there we've got a run on this on the rsr01 now going into the tight hairpin i've got the inside line but i can see he's a little bit too far ahead so i don't want to break too late so i give him plenty of space i have a little bit of oversteer luckily it doesn't catch me out and um I catch it and we don't come into contact with the guy in fifth place and we're still trying to we take it too tight a line through there at this point I, you're gonna see the difference on the second race straight away after this race we went into another race and it was really good I actually just jumped on for two races and both races were able to get um, content on you can see there we have a massive moment coming out of that final corner you can see now look at the way the cars facing the wrong way managed to hold it really nicely and just about save ourselves from hitting that wall and losing them, uh, probably about three or four places to the cars behind so luckily we're still in this race and like i say yeah i really do enjoy this track it's such an enjoyable track we did two races and got two races that were okay to upload to youtube straight away they were just brilliant races i enjoyed them i really enjoy this track so at least we now know this track so if there's an fia race on this track we don't have to learn it we've got the track now in our head and it's another track out of the way we've, we're slowly getting there with the tracks um, in terms of knowing every track now and um, 
starting to realise how to push the car a little bit harder. We're still about, I think we could have got this the qualifying lap down to a 106.545 if we were to spend any sort of time on it. You can see there, a um, guy in fourth place makes a mistake. And now we're going to have a look down the outside. He's gone defensive. I'm going to try and break a little bit late, but try and get a wide angle into the corner and try and undercut him if I can. But you can see he's got the speed out of the exit. So now I'm just going to stay in his slipstream as much as possible. And because obviously that long straight on the back straight coming out of this corner now, there's an overtaking opportunity if you get close enough in the slipstream. So we're going to try and take this in fourth gear, try and take it cleanly. Again, we have a moment on the rear end. Um, you can see, you can just see the consistency, the consistency wasn't here at this stage of the race. And we actually skimmed the wall again. So we're not able to get a massive run on him down into the um, fast left hander up ahead now. And like I say, such a short lap, but such an enjoyable lap. I really like it. It's got fast corners flowing corners and it's got the corners that you're kind of breaking and trail breaking all the way through like this one and then you're lifting off and getting on the power early and you can run really wide there's so much over overtaking opportunity on this track as well considering it's such a sort of short track there is a lot of different lines you can take into the corners and i, I really am enjoying this track last night and um, like i say we only did two races but in them two races i had some great fun as you can tell um racing with these guys up ahead and trying to um, get myself a little bit further up because i felt like once I was up to speed, I would be a bit faster than some of the, the, these guys in front of me. This was at like half nine at night, I think it was, something like that. It was, it was fairly late on in, that, in the night. So um, a few people have obviously been racing all day. We're, this is our first race. And I know that we're gonna get our lap times out. As you can see, our, our lap times are coming down a bit. And you can see our sector splits are coming down a bit. And this lap looks like it's gonna be a little bit better than what we've done so far in this race. Um, we've only really been in the 108s at the moment because we've been making so many mistakes. But now we're going to try and dive in their slipstream as that portion in front of us got a big slipstream. It looks like they're going three wide into that corner ahead. This could end in disaster. As we go over on a 107.3 and just about um, in front of us, a car must have got a penalty. And I, I just saw it really late and just, just about got out of the way. I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, but luckily, we did get out of the way and we're into P5 now. And we're looking to try and get some more positions. As you can see now, we're coming up to this, the penultimate lap. This is a set penultimate lap now. Um, so just two more laps to go to try and get ourselves a bit further up on the grid. Um, P5 is not the best position that I really want to finish. But, you know, this is our first race. So I wasn't really that worried about it. You know, we'll aim to improve on that second race that we'll, we'll show you in, um, at the end of this one. We'll go to that race straight away. As you can see, these guys are battling really hard up ahead. I'm trying to figure out, like, can I make a move? They're battling. Will they expect me to make a move somewhere? Can I try and sneak a move in somewhere? And it's just a case of waiting for that right opportunity to see if we can make a move. As you can see now, we've actually got quite a nice slipstream on the guy ahead now as he's got also a good slipstream on P3 and he looks like he's gaining, gaining, gaining. I'm slowly gaining on him on him as well. It's We're just all getting closer and closer. It looks like he's going to make a move into his fast left-hand corner. He pulls out to left. He's going to try and throw one up the inside. The other guy stays wide, so I decide to stay really wide and try the undercut. And you can see there, we get the undercut and we're staying on the power, just being careful that rear doesn't go. And we've managed to get the inside line into this corner. Now, looking at top right replay, you can see we slot in the gap just perfectly in between them two cars. And we've made that move really nicely and now we're looking on the final lap can we get ourselves into p3 unfortunately he gets a better exit out of that corner than we do we're coming into the braking zone for this um, tight hairpin and we get a little touch on the rear of our car um i only slightly very felt it very slightly and again we've got a penalty through someone hitting us from behind in a tight corner uh it, 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 it's not good this um it is so frustrating but it, luckily it doesn't seem to have affected the result as you can see there now um, going down the start straight um, nothing seems to have been affected in terms of our, our finishing position so luckily for us the result hasn't been changed but the guy ahead it looks like he's got a penalty as well for something um, so we I went to go in his slipstream and then suddenly um, he slows down so you can see there we still end up fourth it looks like he only had a second penalty so unfortunately we also got a second penalty as well and it's a bit it's a shame that that happened so what we're going to do is now have a little look at that incident and see why we got the see what happened for us to get that penalty because we i felt like i was too far ahead of the guy behind me to get a penalty there so we have a little look we make that inside move there really nice move this over did like that he had to back off because of the car in front i slot into the gap that's made there so i've made the nice clean overtake going through this corner we're going into the tight hairpin now we're going to look back and see what has actually happened now so 
we're looking back and you can see there he's quite a distance behind he's outbraked himself trying to defend that line he's bumped into the rear of our car and we've been given a penalty for this so another more evidence there for anyone that tries to defend the current penalty system because there are people out there still defending that system saying it, it's fine it's how it should be if you, if, if you want to argue that then please be my guest and argue that one but um you can see there's still issues with this penalty system and uh, luckily um <coughs> we still got p4 it was only a second penalty so starting the next race you can see this time starting from p4 um, we still got three cars ahead of us that were in that previous race and this time we're going to try and try our best to get a better result this time i felt like i had the consistency at the end of that race i felt like i was getting there and um, starting to understand how i need to race in the race so this time we're going to go a little bit more aggressive and try and get some faster laps in and push for a better result so lights are out and it's a go and you can see now straight away i'm going to go into that slipstream and see if we can make a move um, fairly early in this race as you can see there they they're all getting very close you find that it bunches up very quickly with this straight there and these fast corners so they go into the corner it looks like they took that corner really slow i get quite a nice line i was looking down that right hand side was i going to go down the right hand side i thought i'll go down the right but then i had to lift back off because they made a mistake then i take a nice tight line in that corner it looks like they've made a mistake there i go down the inside and somehow we get ourselves into p2 there was three cars going into one corner there and somehow we managed to get ourselves get through that without us crashing or getting a penalty it's, it's an amazing thing to happen on the game and um, we didn't actually get a penalty so you can see going into this corner now i didn't kind of know what to i just had to keep my foot down i was looking back and i didn't expect the gap to open up that much you can see there look at this now our car's sliding there into the gap and then i actually thought i had took them out in that in that instant but now what you're going to see now is it wasn't actually me i didn't actually come into contact and that's why i didn't get a penalty p2 goes for a move on p1 and um, p1's in the yellow car there and they come into a bit of contact this then pushes p2 a little bit what you see there that little bit of contact pushes p2 and i think that move was fair he had the right to go for that move p2 should have given a little bit more space i think there on the entry into that corner but he then, not because of that contact, he's knocked himself wide. You can see his car's obviously sliding a bit. He's going over to that grass. He's getting slowly more over to that grass. And then as he's going to put the power on, his rear tyre is going to clip that little bit of grass. And then there, look, just there, he's clipping that grass. He's put the power on, and his car's starting to slide now. Look at that. His car's going sideways. The car behind him is going to come into contact with him because he's sliding. So they have a little bit of a touch. And then you're going to see my car just creep down that left-hand side and take advantage. Um, it was just a really, it was just one of them. Had to go for it. I didn't even think about it. And you can see we creep down that left-hand side. There's no contact that we've made. It's all between them two. And because of that contact, he then starts sliding. So it wasn't me that actually did that. Um, I was a little bit concerned after the, after the race when I saw in the mirror that he started sliding. I thought, I'm going to have to check the replay. And when I seen this, I was happy that it was a, it was a perfectly clean move by myself. And then these two just came into contact. And it was, it was basically started from the move made on that other corner by P2 into P1. And P1 obviously not given the space. So luckily, we've actually amazingly done a move got through something like that without a penalty so we're now into p2 and we've actually got a bit of luck for a change and now we're going to try and show what speed we've actually got um the first race i wasn't able to do it so this race we're going to try and get a lot closer to this guy now and see if we can get ourselves in the lead as soon as possible so we can start putting some clean laps in and try and get some consistency because the first race i wasn't really able to um build any consistency up and get my race pace um consistent so now we need to try and get past this guy and then we can start concentrating on some consistency so going into this turn one this is an opportunity to make an overtake all the time and um, we're going to go in fairly deep you can see that we decided to go quite wide i get a really nice cor corner entry you can see i get a lot of grip on that entry point i get on the power really early we've got on the inside of him and then going into this corner we've got that position sorted we're into the corner and then we get bumped from behind uh, again and surprise surprise we get the one second penalty again um, it's becoming the norm this now so it doesn't surprise me anymore but um, we'll have a little look at what happened there so looking behind now you can see I take that corner really well it pretty much hit the apex perfectly get on the power nicely look at the bet that I got such a better entry into that corner we're ahead at this point he then obviously takes a wide line gets a good exit but then just clean drives into the back of our car which you can't do you, you, you just you can't do things like that in races you need to be more cautious than that he's got a penalty as well but we get a one second penalty as well i'm not going to take that one second penalty obviously 
I'm just going to drive around and try and stay one second ahead of the guy behind at all times. Um, I know the guy behind me is fairly fast on this track in the race. Um, not the one that we just overtook, but the other guy that's behind, behind him. It was a guy we was racing and we got that move made on him in, in the last race just at the end. So you can see there, we're already doing a reasonably okay first lap. After the, obviously the first lap is um, going to be slow, but the first proper lap. So we're going to go over the line. I think it's going to be a 107.4 or 5 or something like that, which is not a bad lap. Um, obviously, we've got more potential, but we had that overtake in that where we got a little bump from behind and it disturbed the lap a bit. So already about a second quicker than what we was at the same stage in the previous race. So we're definitely making progress. I can feel I feel a lot more confidence. We pushed the limits really. I don't think we actually hit the wall there. We came very, very close, but we just got away with it. And then into these really fast flowing corners. We're purple again with over nearly three temps. Well, two, two temps um, over up on our previous lap. That's obviously because we got hit on that previous lap where we lost a bit of time. And then breaking nice and early for this corner. Try and take a nice tight line, lift off the throttle, let it coast for a bit, and then put the power in slowly. You've got to be careful with this RSO, RSO one as you put the power in. It does have a tendency to lose the rear end if you're a little bit aggressive. It, it drives very, very similar to the 911 RSR, I think. It's not much different the way they handle, but the gearing on this is a little closer together. So you, in some tracks, this car is really suited. For example, Suzuka, <coughs> you're able to really work the gears <coughs> and get some speed through the corners because you can go in preferential gears to get better acceleration and stuff and that's why this car is so strong on Suzuka because of the gear ratios so you can see there we're already in sixth gear whereas we're in the Porsche you'd only be in about fifth gear at this point you wouldn't be going into that sixth gear so going through this corner again trying to keep it nice and tidy we're running a little bit wide again and luckily I think we just about missed that wall again we might have skimmed it but you know if you're not getting that close you're not pushing the limit so i wasn't too worried as we go a of nearly two temps up on our previous best lap you can see lap three was a 107.6 as i think we might have slightly skimmed the wall on the exit of that final corner that corner was probably the trickiest corner for me it's a corner i do need to um try and get a little bit more consistent at taking well i did find in this guy as i was going forth it was just getting a bit understeery so we'll work on that the more we race this track i'm sure we'll get that 100 percent consistent as we go through that last sector split second sector split sorry uh, purple sector so this is going to be the fastest lap of the race if we can get that final corner sorted which we seem to do reasonably okay we didn't get the most speed out of it but we did it okay and we're going to see what this lap is going to be as we go over the line it's a 106.9 so you can see straight away there um, it's not the fastest lap of the race but that's only probably probably some of that is slipstream based we're at the front of the grid and on this track if you're at the front you're going to lose a fair chunk of time on that back straight if you haven't got a slipstream so i was happy with that we've got ourselves in the race until a 106 and then hitting 107s as well as you can see now we're just trying to keep that gap to the guy ahead over a second because with this second penalty, uh, one second penalty we've got, um, if he gets under one second, we've lost the the, the win for this race. So, uh, and it wouldn't, I didn't feel like it would have been fair again because the system on the game, the penalty system, has given us an unfair penalty yet again. I know I say it so much now, I'm, I'm starting to get bored of hearing myself say it, but let's just hope this patch is coming soon to fix this penalty system because why they think that the the person in front that gets hit should be receive a penalty. Is beyond me the reason they're saying this is obviously because of people brake testing people but that's a sit if if you're in a braking zone and someone hits you where you need to be braking it's, it, they, they can't be doing this it, they need to really have a look at their system and what they're i mean i don't understand why they even came up with the idea of having the penalty system to the person that breaks for a corner and gets hit that should not happen but not much you can do about it i don't think there should be any penalty for that i think what they should do is just give a, a strike system like i racing that's my view anyway so you don't get a penalty you just build up a certain amount of strikes and if you hit a certain amount you're disqualified from the race it'd make more sense you'd keep the racing you'd keep um, good fun racing together and you wouldn't get people getting penalties all over the track so you can see now we've actually lost that one second lead and um, it's down to under just under a second and we've got to try and build that up so the main aim was to take this corner really well, get on the power nice and early. And um, we got a little bit of overseer coming out of the final corner. We're actually a tenth up on our best lap, but I need to take this final corner really well. I push it really hard. We came close to skimming that wall. I'm not sure if we skimmed it, but um, we might have possibly skimmed that wall. We're only seven tenths ahead going over the line. You can see I'm going to start going defensive. I'm weaving around, 
Um, trying to get rid of that sub team, so that's not going to help our lap time out, but I wasn't too worried as we go over on a 107.5. So, I mean, a 107.1, sorry. So, another really consistent lap. And you can see our laps have been much better in this race, a lot more consistent. And now we're just trying to push to get that over one second. We've got to get that lead past one second to get the victory in this race. As you can see now, I'm going to start pushing fairly hard through these corners now. Down into third gear, try and take a nice early entry point. Get on the power as early as you can. You can see I was on the power really early there. And we've actually got the lead up to nine temps. It's over a second now. It looks like the guy behind may not have pushed it hard enough through that final corner. He's up to 1.4, no, 1.2 seconds nearly. Going through the final few corners now. We've just got to concentrate as we're now, yeah, 1.4 seconds ahead try and concentrate and see if we can just keep it clean all the way to the end this final corner i wanted to try and still get it clean and i'm fast but it's such it's just a corner that can catch you out any opportunity you can see there we run a little bit wide scrape just scrape down that right hand side we lose a bit of acceleration but it's not going to be enough to rob us off this win and um, looks like we're going to get this wing fairly just by a matter of attempt so let's have a little look we go over the line and we're one second 1.1 seconds ahead and we've got that win and you can see the guy behind had the penalty anyway five seconds worth so we would have had that race one anyway so another enjoyable race and i really do enjoy this track i'm looking forward to coming back here again um, and racing in other cars and stuff so thanks again for everyone for watching these videos i hope you guys enjoyed the two different ra um, races where you could see the difference between race one and race two in terms of race consistency and I hope I pointed out some things that might help you out as well along the way in that race. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And click that notification button so you don't miss any future videos. We're going to be back with more GT Sport races, more um, Assetto Corsa and Project Cars 2 videos. And we're going to be trying to do FIA races as much as possible and stuff. So thanks again for watching everyone and we'll be back very soon.